four billion dollar investment made by Amazon uh, into uh, a product called specifically, as I want to say it right, Anthropic. And the Anthropic product, Mm -hmm. the focus is kind of this AWS health focus for that. This race for AI, we've heard words like, you know, companies like ChatGPT, OpenAI, you have Google competing against Microsoft. You know, these things weren't an overnight sensation. I mean, AI itself, when you look back, I believe... um, OpenAI, ChatGPT, it's going on four years, three years for some of these uh, products that are that are out there. So if you could talk a little bit about the difference between the various types of AI, like what is it for somebody that is out there in the world that's like, this thing, AI, artificial intelligence, all I'm seeing is I go onto this site and mm-hmm. I type something in and it gives me an article. <laughs> ChatGPT as an example, this is what people are saying, I don't, what can you do with it? You can't do anything with it. No, there's a, there's a lot more to it. And and I know that we can kind of dig in a little bit as to how we see it today, what, chat, what uh, AI and how it affects us today and what it could become tomorrow. Sure. So, I mean, from my perspective, I think AI is, I'll say a generic term that gets coined when there's something new that is generated by computers. Right. So if you really start to think back to when computers were first, I'll say created, you had a lot of things that were really like rules-based reasoning was sort of the beginning of it. And that's just the, you know, the basic if then. So you could say, oh, that's not artificial intelligence. But, you know, back in the 60s, 70s, 80s, like that was groundbreaking. So fast forward a little bit, a bunch of years, you start to have machine learning, which is predominantly what's dominated the talk around you know, what AI was or is still, right? Um, and, you know, the iter- the next iteration of that really comes into some of the deep learning, which uh, progressed into large language models. And large language models essentially is what uh, the chat GPTs of the world are based on. So you have a few of those that are out there. You have you know, chat GPT, you have Bard, which is Google's, you have Claude, which is uh, Anthropics. You know, there's a whole slew of competitors out there. And there's also a variety of what I'll, I'll say open source ones. So, you know, the competition out there is, is quite broad. Would you like classify Siri as an example? Because there are all these names that are coming up <laughs> sure. and everybody has a name. Sure. Cortana, right? Like, are we getting into this world of we're naming these quote unquote personalities, so to speak, as your assistant and the assistant essentially is AI. So would you classify Siri in that category? I mean, for those? sure, I would say that would be a form of, I'll call it AI, right? It's responsive. It's it's the beginning of really, it was the, the natural language as opposed to typing on keyboard for chat GPT. But that's not where it's stopping. It's going to progress. I mean, you start looking, you know, Tesla, for example, with your car. I mean, that is a form of AI, in my opinion. So right. all the cars that have the lane assist and the self-drive and the, like, those are all forms of artificial intelligence because somebody had to program them. What's really happening now in the next iteration is what's being coined as generative AI. So historically speaking, most AI has been driven based on facts. This is the first time that uh, models have been starting to, uh, technology has really been starting to, to generate new content. So I saw a headline, Adobe, you can go into you know, like Photoshop or whatever the tools they do for video editing, or excuse me, uh, pictures, and say, hey, add a monkey in this picture, and it'll just insert a monkey in the picture for you. Like, no copy paste, nothing. It's no code it's, level no, of coding or expertise. It no, just does it. It just does it. Yeah. So I mean, that's the that's really where it's going, from uh, from an AI standpoint, um, and then also just like speech, understanding and speaking. So uh, Google has a product. I don't know if you've seen videos. It's probably a couple years old now. Like you start thinking about it. It would, if you had a green phone, right? If you have an Android phone (laughs) for the Pixel, uh, you could actually inside the phone, click a button, it would call the restaurant to make a reservation for you. So it was like very basic, but that was the beginning of what kind of is being proliferated, I'll say a lot more readily across the board. 